on guys, my name is Coach Chad Oxnaball, Bob Bill for Theme Park News. Welcome to another Halloween update from Thought Park Fright Nights. Now this is on their 2020 dates and we've also got some times as well for those specific dates. So before we get started, like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And now let's zoom into the video. So let's have a look at these dates then. So of course Thought Park Fright Nights. I've heard some great stuff about this year. Uh, Creek Freak Massacre was a big new addition to, it's the most extreme maze that Thorpe Park has ever done. Uh, and you've got to think Thorpe Park have done some pretty cool mazes in the past. Uh, the Freezer, The Asylum, Seven, My Bloody Valentine, Cabin in the Woods, all brilliant. And this was no different from what I saw from the reviews. I've seen a full walkthrough through Jack Silkstone, Big shout out to Jack Silkstone if you're watching. I've watched his video uh, inside the actual maze itself and a full walk through the maze itself, and it looks fantastic. I saw his recent most recent video behind the scenes of Creek Feet Massacre as well. Very clever how they sort of uh, move. Uh, one of my favourite parts was right at the start, actually, how they moved the button from one place to the other uh, to trigger. I think it was one of the effects for a member of me had, uh, but they moved one of the trigger buttons uh, to allow more capacity and to allow uh, quicker run through times and stuff like that. So, you know, I was very, very. Uh, intrigued about that and Creek Freak Massacre definitely seems like one of the biggest uh, mazes that Thought Park's ever done, one of the most successful mazes that Thought Park's ever done from what I saw from the reviews and the footage, I got scared watching the footage, I might have actually been there in the maze so hopefully if it comes back next year or for the foreseeable future I'd love to do that maze. But now 2020, now the Thought Park Fright Nights dates have been revealed uh, along with the rest of the opening times, now I did the opening times for Thought Park Resort in a separate video so make sure you go and check that video out uh, but this opening times reveals as follows so we do have uh, two different opening times it's 10 till 10 or 10 till 8 your 10 till 8 p.m. opening times are the 4th of October on the Saturday Tuesday the 8th of October Saturday the 11th of October Tuesday the 15th of uh, what am I saying Tuesday it's Thursday um, so Saturday 4th of October, Thursday 8th of October, Saturday 11th of October, Thursday 15th of October, and of course Saturday the 1st of November, uh, Sunday the 1st of November. I'm saying Saturday, it's Sunday, it's not Saturday, it's not Tuesday, it's Thursday, it's Sunday. Sunday 4th of October, Thursday 8th of October, Sunday 11th of October, Thursday 15th of October, and Sunday 1st of November. Those are your 10 till 8 opening times. Saturday the 3rd of October, Friday the 9th, Saturday the 10th, Friday the 16th, and then running from the 16th all the way to the 31st, Saturday the 31st of October, all of those days are 10 till 10. So very good uh, opening times there for Thought Park Resort. I'm really excited about those opening times uh, for Fright Nights. I'm sure you guys uh, that loved Fright Nights this year will be down for Thought Park next year for Fright Nights. Make sure you comment down below if you are going for Fright Nights next year. I'm debating. I'm debating because, of course, you've got Alton Town Scarefits, which I really want to Scarefest, which I really want to go to because uh, it's the anniversary next year of Alton Town. So I want to try and get down there for their biggest and best anniversary Scarefest. Um, obviously York Maze Halloween Screen that I've been to for the past two years they're celebrating their 10th anniversary of their Halloween attraction so I want to be down there for that anniversary see what they're going to do uh, I love the York Maze Halloween Screen I'm sure York Maze Halloween Tween as well I'm sure that's going to be a good event as well that's sort of the, the younger event where we took the in, in Maze footage obviously we'll try and get some in Maze footage uh, from Hallow Scream uh, next year hopefully fingers crossed uh, try and get that all through next year um, so there's a few Halloween events I'm debating, Yorkshire Scaregrounds, again, they're doing a Christmas event this year, might look at doing it at Halloween instead, uh, and then do Christmas again next year, who knows. Um, so still debating my plans, obviously we've only just finished this year's Halloween, so we don't need to be debating Halloween at this rate, but you know where I'm coming from, there's a lot of Halloween events to talk about, a lot of Halloween events to discuss, and I think Thought Park Friday Nights could be on the bill, but we don't know that for certain yet, so uh, we'll just have to see how that all goes. Uh, but I, personally, am very excited. Very, very excited, because I think Thor Park Fright Nights next year might be even better than this year. And I think this year was definitely a real improvement on 2018, because 2018, people consider it the worst Fright Nights ever, uh, or one of the worst Fright Nights ever, uh, but definitely the worst in a long time. So uh, there's a real possibility here 
uh, that we could definitely have an improvement on this year. And it must be hard to top this year, especially since there was so much of improvement on 2018. Especially with Creep Freak Massacre. Hopefully that gets better and better and better. Um, so I'm definitely very excited to see what's in store for next year's Friday night. So make sure you leave your predictions in the comments down below again, guys. That's my question of the day. Question of the day. What are you predicting is going to be the maze I look for Friday nights next year? Obviously, it's too early to predict at this stage, but, you know, if you've got any maze ideas, comment them down below. I'd love to reply to your comments. I want to see you guys be creative in the comments. Well, you know, what maze would you like to see return, or what maze would you like to see uh, brought in, and where would you see it being located? You know, I'd, li I'd like to see a maze come back. I'd like to see something come back that maybe some of us haven't done yet, so maybe something like... Uh, the passing, or if they decide to do like a new storyline for the asylum, maybe they bring back the freezer and go really old school, or Seven maybe, or My Bloody Valentine if they decide to do another Lionsgate contract, who knows, um, but it should be interesting to follow, so thank you very much for watching this Halloween update, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts and theories down below, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, and for now guys, my name is Ghost Child, keep living the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.